with the tool segment the back neck length 9.28 press shift and from this point to this point select the tool curve drag the line to make it curved okay select the pointer tool select this vertical line to the color height select the tool segment length click this point i'm going to make the color height 4.5 Select the tool segment and make it straight line. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. Today's video is a pad system tutorial. There are lots of professional pattern making programs out there and pad is one of them. One thing I really love about pad is how easy it is to access and use. It's a cloud-based program, so you don't need to pay a big upfront cost like some others. And it's super beginner-friendly, easy to learn, and it's quite popular in the industry. If you're curious, they offer a one-month free trial, so you can give it a try. And since I'm a PAD affiliate, you can also get an extra 5% off with my code. So check it out in the description box below. In this video, we are going to make a shirt color from scratch. I think the best way to learn pattern making software is by actually making patterns. So I'll walk you through the process and introduce you to tools and menus along the way. Just a heads up, this is a pad tutorial all the measurements I use are just examples. All right, let's get started. This is a shirt pattern. At the time you dropped the color, shirt color, you already dropped the body patterns. So you can measure the neck length from the body patterns and you can create the colors. Let's start with measuring the neck length on the body. Select the tool segment length. When you hold down the control key, the tool changes to the pointer, this one. It is the command key for Mac users. So with the pointer tool, select the bang neck. When you release the control key, now your tool is segment length, right? Click one of the point, 9.28 centimeter. I measured only up to this high shoulder point because this is a actual shoulder line this was a part of the front. Then select the side neck and you measure it. It's 2.56 cm. When you select the front neck, here is the center front where the buttons are, right? The color stand ends here, the edge of the center front. Then what is this? This is placket. This is one piece placket. So this is a folding line. So to create the color, you need to measure the front neck length, the edge of the front. It is 12 cm. With the neck measurement you measured from the body, select the tool segment. You click work area, then you have this line. I'm going to go with the back neck length. The angle should be zero. But if you press the shift key, angle goes zero. Enter, you have back neck length. Keep the same tool, segment. I'm going to click the point. You can do the same. This time, you have to add up the side neck and the front. The so 14.56. Press the shift key. It says minus 180 degrees. Enter. So now you know this is the back length and this is the rest. Select the tool segment again. Click this point and go up. This is going to be a guideline, so the length doesn't really matter. It's just longer than 10 cm for now. Press the shift key to have the right angle, 90 degrees, and enter. Okay, so now you have L-shaped baseline. So this is the center bank neck point, this is the high shoulder point, and this is going to be the front edge. From there, I will go up 1.5 cm, and this time I'm going to use this tool, point. Hold down the control key, so you have a dialog box. I'm going to create a point straight go up on y-axis 
pi 1.5 centimeter. So x axis is zero. Then you have a point here. Select the tool segment. Click the point. Click the high shoulder point. Select the tool curve, and you can make this segment curved. So there is no point here around here high shoulder point. So smooth and nice. We know this length. We measured from the body side neck plus front neck is 14.5 centimeter. But because this is a straight line and this is a curved, this curved line will be slightly longer. So I'm going to select this segment and with the tool, this segment length, click the high shoulder point. Now it says 14.66. It's a really small amount. It doesn't actually matter, but I would revise this 14.56 centimeter and click OK. Then this point moved a little bit. So this is perfectly the same for the body neck length. Color stand height, I would go by three centimeters. So we are going to copy this curve three centimeter away. There are several ways to create lines, but let's try this one. So select this segment and select the tool, parallel line. Click above the line. And if you move your mouth, you have this dialog box. So we know we want to have three centimeter. Enter. So now we have exactly parallel line, but this line and this line is not attached. See, when you select this vertical line, there is no point on this line. It looks like here is the point, but it's not. So we need to attach this and this two segment. Let's zoom in. To attach those two segments, those two segments should be crossed. What I mean by that, if this point is away from the other segment, you cannot actually attach those two segments. If this point is a little bit over, cross the segment, then you can create the point to attach two segments. So it was like this. So with I, you don't really know those two segments are crossed or away because it's a really, really small amount. So for the safety, select this point and you can press arrow to the left side and it is moving. So move this point far away. So make sure those two segments are crossed and you select those two segments, select the tool, attach segment, and you click this cross point, you can have the point. This means when you select this vertical, you see now you select only this area, means it is separated. Okay, for the front, again, there's several ways to make a curve for the color stand. You can just curve the line with this curve tool, something like this. But I'm gonna show you another way. Select the tool segment and connect these two points. Select the tool, add point to segment, Select this segment, click the point, let's go with 1.5 centimeter, and select this upper line and click this point. Same, 1.5 centimeter. With the pointer tool, I'm going to delete this control point first. So select the point and press delete. And select this corner, control I, I'm going to change this control and OK. Then it makes a curve. If you want to make this curve bigger, then because this is three centimeter, I'm going to create a point three centimeter away, delete this control point and change this point to control. Then you can have this bigger curve. So that's your design, but I'm just showing you how to make curve with changing the point from regular or mark to control point. Okay. So we have the color stand. Let's make color. Select the tool, add point to segment and select this segment with the pointer tool. Click the bottom point. We are going to go up another three centimeter. With the tool segment, the back neck length, 9.28, press shift. And from this point to this point, select the tool, curve. Drag the line to make it curved. Okay, select the pointer tool. Select this vertical line to the color height. Select the tool segment length. Click this point. I'm going to make the color height 
Select the tool segment and make it straight line. Around here would be okay for the color shape I want. But angle should be 90 degrees. Enter. Then from the point, you connect those two points. The draft is done. Let's set piece. Color stand first. To select the segment, and center back around the color and control E. Let's set piece. If we want to go to the menu, treatment and set piece. Fill out whatever you want to fill. We are going to cut this color stand one pair. It's going to be the self. Because we just dropped the base frame, I'm going to set the plan view first. It's going to be plan. Okay, then here we go. We have a color stand and this is plan, not piece view. Okay, the next, you select all the segment for the color. Control E. Again, we need one pair, self and plan. So this is draft and this is plan view. On the plan view, I'm going to make notches. So we know this is the back neck length. So this is the high shoulder point. Select the point, control I, it's going to be single notch. So this will match to the high shoulder point on the body. Those two lines will stitch together. So I'm going to select those two points, control I and double notch this time. I don't want to have all the single notch here because I don't want to confuse the source. Either you make double notches on those two or you move the notch location so nobody confuses it. And I want to create a notch on the color stand where the color ends. So select this point, control I, simple notch like this. Okay, the so plan view is done. Then we're going to set piece again for the piece view. With the pointer tool, hold down the control and alt at the same time and select the color stand. It will select the whole piece. Set piece, piece clone, editable from master only. So you have piece view now. And same, control and alt, select the color, set piece, piece clone, editable from master only. Click OK. Now you have colors on plan view and piece view. If you need to adjust the pattern, you are going to work on the plan view. Piece view will follow the shape. Okay, the color stand, select the top curve, select the tool, seam allowance. Click the segment. I'm going to have one centimeter and I'm going to have a notch only here. So you see the blue numbers, it's one and here's two. So I'm going to have a notch on only side two. Okay, you don't see the notch for now, but you're going to see it soon. Select the neckline, click the line again, one centimeter. And I'm going to have a notch only this side. You see this number one, click side one and OK. Then you have notches for the seam allowance and you see the value, how much seam allowance you have. For the color, I selected the bottom line with the pointer tool, select the tool, seam allowance. Click the segment, again, one centimeter. I'm going to have a notch only this side, number one. Select the segment. One centimeter, and we need a notch here. So, number one. Select the color outer line, click the segment again, one centimeter. I'm going to have notch side two. So, you added the seam allowance. We need to go back to plan view. Select the center back line, select the tool meter, and click the segment. Then, piece view is also mirrored. You're gonna do the same for the color. And you want to have notches on the center back, right? You select those one, two, three, four points. Go to treatment, notches. They will be all single notch. Then you have notches here. This is how you create the search color with the pad system. If you're enjoying this video, I just want you to know I made pad system hotkey list. Using shortcuts while you're working with pad will improve your work speed and efficiency. Head over to my website patternstudio101.com and download my pad system hotkey list. It's free.